Hi, my name is David Hatton, a developer for IBM Urban Code Deploy. Today we're going to talk about agents. We're going to cover a couple of topics including what is an agent, installing an agent, agent pools, and agent relays. So agents are generally a type of a resource. Agents are what you deploy to in uh, Urban Code Deploy. An agent represents a endpoint for your deployment. So here I have two agents installed. Uh, both of them are installed in a single box and they, I could have a database here, I could have a, de a deployment server here. Um, any, anything that I want agents to deliver code to is where I'm going to have an agent. Uh, now there's two ways to install an agent. One is through the install scripts that come with your Urban Code Deploy installation package. Another way is through this install new agent button. So I have a second machine set up and I'm actually going to show you what installing an agent through the UI looks like. So the first thing is that you need to point the installer at uh, where you want the agent to be installed. So this is the IP address of one of my other machines. It's going to use SSH by default. You're going to use port 22 by default. Uh, you need to use your login, username, and your password. Here's where you set your agent name. Uh, again, this is just something that shows up in the UI. It's the name of the agent so that you know what it is. Uh, you have to set an agent directory. Uh, usually that's going to be opt something some, uh, somewhere under opt. Uh, is the default when you install with the scripts, but there's no default here yet, so you have to set that yourself. Um, same with the Java home uh, and the temp directory. Server host refers to the host that you want, the server that you want the agent to point back to. So in this case, our uh, IP address for this particular server is 10.15.6.10, and that's where we want the agent to point back to. And the server port is by default 7918. So I'm going to hit save. So as we saw, using the install new agent button and setting the appropriate parameters that you would have set using the script, we can install an agent. This agent you know, was not here before. So you have the two training agents and then a remote agent. So you can install an agent through the UI. The second uh, topic we're going to go over here um, is agent pools. Now an agent pool represents a, uh, a group of agents that are for all intents and purposes the same agent. And what this means is um, let's say I'm deploying some database updates to my database cluster. I have 10 agents in that cluster but only one agent actually needs to perform the database upgrades. In that sense, in that situation, I would use uh, a, an agent pool. I would configure those 10 agents to uh, exist under the same agent pool. And then once I deploy to that agent pool, uh, it's going to pick one of those agents at random to deploy the database upgrade. So using an agent pool, you can treat a group of agents like one agent because you don't care which agent the, de the deployment actually runs on. So I've got one created here. And as you can see, I have my two agents in it. If I want to edit it, this is the dialog that pops up. I can add members here. I can add the third member my third agent now to the agent pool. I'm not going to though. If I want to create a new agent pool, I just go to resources agent pools and this create agent pool button, I give it a name. And I can add pool members. Now having an agent pool with one member is not very useful, but it's good for demonstration purposes. 
So you'll notice that the status of both of these is online. <clears throat> if I were to take one of these agents offline, the agent pool would still show up as online. This should make sense because as I said before, every agent in an agent pool is, is interchangeable with any other agent in an agent pool. So as long as there's one agent alive and online in an agent pool, you can deploy to that agent pool because it doesn't matter. The, the whole rationale behind an agent pool is that it doesn't matter which agent in this pool actually does the deployment so long as it's done. So I know I've, I talked about resources in a different video, but it's worth mentioning again here that in order to actually use any agents or agent pools, I need to add them to a resource group. So I'm going to create an agent pool resource group. So now I have a top level uh, resource group called agent pools. And I can add an agent pool to it. Pick which one to add. I'm going to add that one first. And now let's add another agent pool. Let's add the pets. Let's add the remote agent pool. So now I have these two agent pools. If I click here, I can view the agent pool. If I go here, I go to the resource that represents that agent pool. So agents and agent pools are, can be resources, uh, just like any other deployable material. Uh, it can be represented as resources. So the, th the third item to talk about is an agent relay. An agent relay is a way to manage large numbers of agents. So if you have data center out in the middle of the country that you need 75 agents in, you know, you, you have a, several boxes there and they all need an agent on it. And it ends up being between 75 and 100 agents. That's a lot of connections to maintain going between your data center and your urban code deploy server. So instead, in your, in your data center, you'd want to install what's called an agent relay. What an agent relay does is it allow, it manages those connections for you. So instead of having 75 agents call each individually call back to the urban code deploy server, you have 75 agents that all go call to the agent relay, and then the agent relay makes a single call to the urban code deploy server. So instead of having these, 70, these hundreds, possibly, network connections managed, you'll have just a handful. So when you're starting to get into situations with very large numbers of agents, uh, you should start considering agent, using agent relays to help alleviate some of the strain on your network and to better manage uh, failures should they occur. That's it for today. We talked about agent relays, agent pools, and how to use and install agents. Good luck with your deployments.